Crypto News. I am your host, Dill Number 12. Tonight we bring you a story happening now in Cedar Falls, Iowa. A skinwalker has been reported on the loose. Officials tell us that the skinwalker is roaming the streets of Cedar Falls, Iowa, and is considered to be a threat to the community. We do have a live reporter, Dill Number 36, on scene. Dill, what can you tell us? Thank you, Dale number 12. I am here in Cedar Falls, Iowa, where we do have a skinwalker running through the streets. Uh, here behind me, you see uh, the last reported sighting that we know of where the skinwalker was last seen. Uh, now, officials are monitoring the situation. They tell me that no one is reported missing, but this should be considered dangerous. Everyone should stay indoors, keep the doors locked, windows locked. Whatever you do, have to do to keep your family safe. Uh, skinwalkers are known to be very hostile. Uh, so at this time, officials are just saying, don't panic but uh, take the situation very seriously. So um, we'll uh, keep an eye on the situation and if anything changes, we'll let you know. Thank you, number 36. Now you have been in the area where the last reported sighting was uh, occurring. Have you seen anything out of the ordinary or does everything seem somewhat normal to you right now? Yeah, uh-huh, yep. What do you mean, yeah, uh-huh? I mean, did you see anything? Yeah, yeah, yep. Well, what did you see? Yes. Alright, we will come back to you later, number 36. Uh, we'll uh, keep you guys updated on everything that's going on in Cedar Falls, Iowa. It's clear that we will hire just about anybody around here. On to the next story. In other news, video game company Capcom is calling all cryptozoologists together for evidence of cryptids. The company is asking for any video evidence of cryptids and will pay up to $70,000 to anyone who can obtain footage of one of the 10 specific cryptids they are looking for. Those 10 cryptids include the Bigfoot, the Loch Ness Monster, the Mongolian Deathworm, the Mermaid, Earthhound, Yeti, Chubracabra, the Flying Snake of Nambia, Yowie, and the Cornish Owlman. Capcom has partnered with John Downs of the Center of Fortean Zoology, and a team of cryptozoologists will review each submitted clip to determine if any of them are legit. The only requirement is that you must be from the United Kingdom to qualify, so maybe it's not too late to move out of the States after all. A trapper on a trail in Alberta to Canada has captured something, well, interesting. This image was taken by an unknown photographer of what appears to be a Bigfoot-like creature. Now, the story has no validity as of yet, as the image was sent to one of his friends and uploaded to a Facebook group. But what do you think? Real or fake? Our next story comes from Scotland, where UK resident Steve Chalice was on holiday last September, when he captured something very large swimming in Loch Ness, a very famous lake for cryptid sightings. He posted the image to a Facebook group called Anonymous Universe, which re-sparked the debate on whether this famous serpent cryptid is real or not. Chalice says he doesn't believe in the Loch Ness Monster and thinks it was most likely some type of catfish. He denies all claims that this image was a result of Photoshop. What do you think? And that'll wrap it up for tonight's Cryptid News. I hope you all enjoyed. Remember to stay safe and stay alert. Back to you in the studio, deal number one.